Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife and welcome to our weekend wrap up. Of course, you know, it was a huge, crazy, busy weekend with us here at the farm having our chicken stew. It is our favorite, one of our favorite weekends of the year and uh, we love it so much and we had such a blast. You saw some of the pictures from that and so anyway... But I just wanted to um, tell you, I don't know what that, that's about all that's going to be on this video. And um, we, next week, hopefully we'll be a little bit more back to normal. So, all right, uh, let's go on with the video. Well, I told you guys I was going to get Bryant a cake for his birthday here at the Chicken Stew, and here it is. Happy 50th birthday, Bryant. Isn't it cute? I love it. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, thank you guys for coming. Uh, for many of you, you come every year, and uh, we, Leslie and I do this as an appreciation to all of you. Many of you go to church with us, some of you just live in the area. And, uh, some of you used to go to church with us. Some of you used to go to church with us. <laughs> They're here trying to recruit me back. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, thank you guys for coming. Um, and, and we uh, pretty simple night. Something a little different is there may be a little guitar picking about 6.30ish. We'll see how that pans out. Some we've added this year. But uh, enjoy yourself. Stay as long as you want to till 10.30 and, uh, <laughs> and just, just have a good time. But thank you all for coming. So uh, let's pray. Leslie, anything you want to say? I just want to say, if you need a restroom by any chance, Caroline's are much closer and she has three and I only have one. So the blue house behind the hay barn is open. Just go in the back door and just snoop around till you find a bathroom. <laughs> and you're welcome to use ours too, but there's only one. Um, we're going to say the blessing and the pretty simple. We've got two stews. This one here has red pepper flakes in it, so it's just a little, little spicy, not terribly. This one has no pepper flakes. On the table, uh, there are something that Leslie makes every year. They're called Alabama firecrackers. People love them. Sometimes they eat them by themselves, or they crumble those up and put them in the stew. If you get in the spicy stew, you may not want to get the crackers to crumble in, but you suit yourself and do what you want to. So, hey, and there's something up here called cozy coffee that she makes every year. If you need to know how to make it, ask her. She'll give you the instructions. So, all right. Any questions? All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for an opportunity to gather and just fellowship one with another. We thank you for the weather and most importantly for the blessings you bestow upon our lives. Thank you for relationships and friendships. Thank you for these, our church people, our community people, and our friends. And we just pray tonight, can we just take the next few hours, Lord, and just bask in your presence and thank you for your glory. It's in your name we pray. And everybody shout it. Amen. 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 How do I stop it? How do I stop it? I just don't want to mess up. <laughs> I know, right? Thank 
There you go. Lisa, what'd you think? Good? If I can have everybody's attention, in two weeks, Bront will turn 50 years old. So I thought we would have a cake here at the chicken stew for him to, tonight. So if we can sing happy birthday to TV, it'd be great. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bronnie. Happy birthday to you. Hey everyone, welcome to Couch Time. Hey, hey, hope you've all had a great week. We are exhausted. But we're okay. <laughs> it's we're a happy go. exhaustion though. Had a great time at the chicken stew last night. Everything went really good. Not sure how much footage she yeah, got Yeah, we here. didn't get as much filmed as we wanted to, but it's hard when you're, it, you're trying to get around to see everybody and to film and it's just, it doesn't work. So, but it's okay. Had a great crowd. Had anywhere from 100. We're thinking about 200 people. Yeah, we've heard as high as 200. We've heard 175. But anyway, had a great crowd. Everything was really good. The stew was really good. Uh, a lot of compliments on that. And so just we just had night. it for lunch. Yep. Yep. Had a little bit left over, and so. Yep. Everything went really good. So what's been on the videos this week? Well, j nothing really. Th this is a this is a fall chick chicken stew video okay. <laughs> that's all this is okay. so no i'm talking about your videos from oh last from week. last week well we just i don't remember good gracious because we were getting so prepared for the chicken stew everything seemed to revolve around that um i think we did the the chicken chili mm -hmm. what's coming up monday monday is going to be pumpkin cheesecake strudel muffins so and i've already tasted them and they're delicious they are wonderful yep, so you got tuned in monday they use those things are really really good yeah so hey very quickly day sermon uh, i thought went really well um, i dealt with it's time to draw the line in the sand and to have battle lines and i dealt with ephesians chapter 6 where paul encouraged the church to to put on the entire armor of god and he talked about the war that we in the war that we battle not against flesh and blood humans but we battle against the principalities and the spiritual realm of darkness and things like that and what he said was simply this that we um that we uh that the enemy has come to kill still and destroy and so we've got to be ready in the battle and we're fighting change is inevitable everything changes um, but the challenge is um, people sometimes try to change the word of god or try to change um, the kingdom of God, and there's no change there, and the Bible is very clear about that. And I talked about two things we're called to do is put on the entire armor, and we talked about the armor. Mm -hmm. And the second thing was we're called to stand. And sometimes standing is lonely, and sometimes standing is challenging and uh, because it gets wearisome whenever you feel like you're the only one standing for truth or standing for what is right. Yeah. And so I had a good service, good crowd today, spirit was good, worship was good. And everything went really good. So I want to encourage you today, make sure you've got the entire armor of God on and make sure you're standing the way he's called you to stand because you, if you don't stand for something, the old country song says, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. You'll fall for anything. So all right, guys, hope that little sermonette blesses your hearts and encourage you. So put on the, the helmet of salvation, the uh, belt of truth, the shoes uh, the sh uh, shod with the gospel of peace, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the the shield of faith and the sword, which is his word. Yep. So pray that you guys have the full armor on. So that's it for today. We've got some exciting things next week. We got the pumpkin muffins on Monday. And then I'm not sure, but Tuesday's video may be a field trip that we chaperone with Judah bug. Yep. So, all right, we will see you guys next week right here on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. We appreciate you joining us. I'm sorry we didn't get as much filmed at the chicken stew as we had planned to, but we had to enjoy our guests. So, all right, we will see you next time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.